Jimenez. Nathan, you ready? Roberto, you ready? Quick! Nathan Orchard in the red. Roberto Jimenez in the blue. Nathan Orchard has the beard. Might be an easier way for you guys to understand. This is the last time we saw Roberto Jimenez in this exact same position, which was three weeks ago right here at Submission Underground. He found a triangle choke from this very position. Look at Jimenez. Jimenez doesn't allow any space. Look at this. He's looking for a reversal, but there's no space. If you allow your opponent to posture, you essentially allow your opponent to stop the action. Jimenez does not allow you to stop the action. Now, Nathan Orchard has never... Okay, he meant... Now, that was nice. Wow, into a full mount. Wow. I would love to explain to you how he... Okay, Jimenez looking... Oh, he's coming out to a twister position. Possibly Jimenez was on bottom. Jimenez sat up to a bear. Okay, Orchard to his feet. Oh, boy. All right, this quarterfinals is delivering exactly as expected. Jimenez is only 20 years old. He comes to an outside duck under on Orchard. Nathan Orchard understands these positions. Nathan Orchard has been there and done that. Competed with Bamba in the first ever submission underground. Bamba was a two-time jiu-jitsu world champion. Orchard got the nod in that match. He has been to the finals of EBI. He is a coach, a gym owner, announcer. He has covered every side of this. Just to partner with Nate Quarry to call the fights. Tremendous expert. And he understands these rules. Herberto Jimenez, look at this in side control. Doing a great job with his knees. And now he comes to the other side while trying to throw his leg in. Look, Orchard saw that that was coming. Great attempt there. Jimenez comes out with a full guard. Trains at Studio 76. Jimenez looking for a topside triangle. Should he get that locked in? Those are very difficult to stop. Orchard understands where he's at there. Nathan Orchard is not lost in this match. Some of these positions are so tricky, they're hard for me to even call and explain to you. Orchard understands what's happening, though. Orchard is not lost. Jimenez coming back on top. He's, again, looking for this topside triangle. Feels he loses it, passes to the other side. Wow, high-level technique. Very high-level. These great jiu-jitsu guys are able to float. This really proves the point that Hoist Gracie made all the way back in 1993, which is if you understand technique and you can move, okay, top side triangle again, Orchard's not falling for it. If Orchard does what he naturally would want to do, which is to roll over and come out on top. It only makes it tighter. Look, Orchard's in a bad... Okay, then now things just got worse for Orchard. Jimenez just makes passing and sweeps look easy. Things have gotten worse here by Orchard, but look where Orchard's at. See how Orchard's standing on his foot? He's keeping, he's keeping his butt off the mat. Hiberto Jimenez, as advertised. Wow. That is a tremendous win. I have followed Nathan Orchard's career for many, many years. I even know people where he's grown up in Grants Pass. I know a lot about Nathan Orchard, and I will tell you, I have never seen him tap. I'm aware if you go look up his record, he has been submitted before. I'm sure I have not seen Nathan Orchard tap. That includes in practice. Roberto Jimenez changes that and moves on to the semifinals. Let's throw it to Kevin Keeney and make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner at 3 minutes, 36 seconds of regulation time, Roberto Jimenez.